All right, in this video, we're going to find angles from a circle, uh, from a point given on the unit circle. So it says, given the following point on the unit circle, find the angle to the nearest tenth of a degree of the terminal side through the point. And we only want the angle that's in between 0 and 360 degrees. So first, let's plot this point on the unit circle. It should bring us maybe here, roughly. Since this is the unit circle, then um, the hypotenuse is a 1. This side must be negative uh, 1 third, and this must be the square root of 8 thirds. The angle we want is this one, the angle in standard position that's positive and in between 0 and 360. To get it, we have to use an inverse trig function. And inverse trig functions don't always give you the angle you want in the diagram. That's the key idea. So I'm going to call that angle R the one that's acute, and that's the reference angle. And we're going to use inverse trig to find um, R first, and then we'll use it to reason what theta must be. So forget that you're in the unit circle for the moment. Just note that the tangent of R, according to this right triangle is the square root of 8 over 3 because that's opposite and adjacent is negative a third. I'm going to ignore the negative for reasons that, well, for reasons that I'll explain later, but it, it's it's um, it's fine to ignore the negative in, in problems like these. Notice that that means that the square root, uh, that this reduces to square root of 8 over 1. And for tangent, you input angles and you get out ratios. That means that Inverse tangent gives you the angle so long as you put in the ratio. So let's see what this is. Let's, we need a computer to do it, or a calculator. I'm going to use Desmos. So you type in tan inverse of square root 8 divided by 1. Okay, and you get uh, 70.5 degrees about. So angle R, I'm just going to write it in there, 70.5 degrees. Angle theta, therefore, is the one we want. Since we can see clearly that angle theta plus angle R, which is 70.5 degrees, must give you your 180. That tells us that theta is 180 degrees minus 70.5 degrees, which is 180 minus 70 is 110, minus a half is 109.5 degrees. Okay, and you can perform a, like a check um, on something like this. Let me just show you. I'm going to go in and punch in the, um, I'm going to go in and punch in, I'm going to use that angle. Remember, this, this is also the cosine of angle theta, so that's the cosine of 109.5 degrees. And this is the sine of 109.5 degrees, just using unit circle. Our definitions of sine and cosine in unit circle trigonometry. Let's just go check, right? Um, let's just check and see that that's what we get. So if I do the cosine of 109.5 degrees, I get pretty close to negative a third. Obviously, it's not exact because we rounded. And the sine of 109.5 degrees is 0.942. We want to compare that to square root of 8 divided by 3. And, of course, they're close. They're not exact because of the rounding. But all in all, looks like we did it right. So the, the, the key thing is to note that the tan inverse button will only give you an acute angle. And you need to look at your diagram and be able to reason what angle theta is based on, based on the diagram.